All right, welcome to Hopped On Classics. I'm Alvin and I'll be going through a occasional beer review and music pairing. That's the idea of Hopped On Classics uh, from the old Hooked On Classics uh, K-Tel album uh, that had a bunch of classical music mixed with disco beats. Uh, this is a similar kind of thing, except for this will be more classical music and then just some other music here and there. For this initial one, we're actually going to be doing Christmas songs. And so this is going to be a weird one. The occasional will be daily for a while as far as releases of videos because I'm going to start with the Clown Shoes 12 Beers of Christmas 2021 edition. So this is the 12 Beers of Christmas. We're going down through the wish list uh, kind of uh, order here. So it's going to just follow this order of the actual list here. Starts off with the Reindeer Games Bavarian IPA and ends with the Advent Undead Imperial Stout, uh, coming in at a 8%. So this is the uh, box. I've already uh, removed the beers out of it, so if I'm flipping this around like it's uh, a piece of cardboard, it's a piece of cardboard. So just using this as a prop to give you the idea of the box that it comes in. So this is a 12 ounce can, so 12 ounces of 12 beers of Christmas, and they're offering for 2021. Uh, Clown Shoes has been around since about 2009. They're a independent still brewery. It started off as an independent brewery, and then in 2017, they kind of merged with uh, Mass Bay Brewing Company and formed into a project with these other employee-owned brewers, UFO and Harpoon. Those are pretty widely distributed. Uh, both Harpoon and UFO have been around for a long while and they're distributed pretty widely within the U.S. and around uh, CONUS. So I know I've seen it in almost everywhere I've been in the beer section at the local grocery store if uh, that state sells beer in grocery stores. So got my Christmas mug. It's the most wonderful time of the year, so I'm going to use this for all of the 12 beers of Christmas, and then we'll see what I pull out of my collection of glasses uh, for an actual uh, sampling later. So let's kick it off here with the Reindeer Games, the Bavarian Style IPA. Um, interesting hot mix here. So this one here is, let's give this an open here, and give it a pour here. Pretty good head on this beer, 12 ounce can, and this is about a 14 ounce glass, I think. So it's working out pretty well from a storage perspective for containing all of this beer. So great artwork as always from uh, Clown Shoes. I just love the crazy uh, colors and different pieces of art on their cans. It's usually a stickered on kind of piece for this kind of, uh, can art, but their uh, bottle art is just as cool, and they've got always some of the most interesting pieces there. Uh, some of the things I've had in the past from them are uh, the one of my favorite named beers, the Eagle Claw Fist Pale Ale. Uh, it's a decent beer and a good pale ale and a strong entry into the pale ale area. Uh, the other one I've had is the Galactica IPA and their Chocolate Sombrero is the other uh, stout I think I've had from them that I've checked into Untapped. So I will be checking all these beers into Untapped uh, at some point. Uh, I'm actually going to record about five videos today because I want to get the badge that is the one for the 12 beers of Christmas for the Galactica Space Cake, I think, is the one that is the actual check-in for that. So uh, this pairing for the classics part will be from the Topsify uh, 100 Greatest Christmas Songs Ever uh, playlist. So I've taken a beer pairing and we'll be taking this Reindeer Games and pairing that with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's a pretty classic version and the uh, version that they've got on that list is the Gene Autry or pretty uh, definitive version of that one. So 
If you think about classic ones, uh, this is kind of a classic style, this IPA, but a new style too, in the sense that this Bavarian IPA is really kind of an oddity. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and on appearance, it's a rather uh, middle of the road appearance, kind of got that amber color to it. Uh, if you look at the head, there's a decent amount of carbonation in the beer. And then I'm gonna rate things on this uh, appearance, nose, taste, mouth feel, and then finish. Those are the five categories that I'll be rating most of my beers in and untapped. And I might start a blog that has this kind of information in it too. So hopefully you'll enjoy all of that. So let's get down to it and crack into this guy. From the nose, getting a little bit of the hops, but more of the actual malt bill that's in here is what I'm getting more of. So the description of the Reindeer Games from their site was a beautiful malt forward and red hued IPA that is crafted with both German and American hops and malts. So that's the combo here of German and American hops and malts. And that makes sense. The red color here, uh, really uh, amberish, uh, kind of like a dark amber ale. Uh, so, and again, the nose is really more of a uh, multi nose than a hoppy nose. I'm not getting uh, a lot of hops on that. So the hops that they have in this one are the Saz or Saz, the Mandarina and the Mosaic. I'm most familiar with the Mosaic. It's uh, one of my favorite uh, hops. So I've had that one several times and I could probably pick out the, those flavorings and that particular hop flavoring. The Saz is probably, and the Mandarina are more of the German hops that, especially that Saz, that's going to be a very uh, German hop, uh, Bavarian kind. Of, that's where that Bavarian uh, theme comes in, I'm sure. And so let's go ahead and uh, get the taste on this one. Okay, so it's a more malty. It's got a sweeter front malt flavoring to it. It's really rather uh, smooth as a uh, IPA. I'm not getting a lot of that bitiness in the uh, mouthfeel of it. It's uh, more of a uh, ale type, the red ale or an amber kind of lager kind of uh, mouthfeel to it than a IPA. It's a little bit of the uh, finish is that uh, IPA, little bit of crispness in that finish and then just evens out with that malt. The malt is really just uh, taking that over and uh, giving it a, a smoother finish than your typical IPA finish might be. Overall, not a bad beer. It's probably uh, ranks more towards those German beers, which are not my favorites. Uh, Got to say that reds and Germans are probably uh, red lager, red amber. That style is not really one of my favorites. I think uh, too much uh, Killian's uh, early in my beer drinking uh, led to me not liking that particular flavor. Now imperial reds are probably my least favorite, even well-rated ones on Untapped and Beer Advocate. I just really don't care for them that much just because of the, that one style is just an overdone one for me. It's a little bit too syrupy, a little bit too sweet. So, but overall, I would give this one probably out of a scale of, I'm going to rate everything on a scale of five, uh, just because Untapped does that and it's going to be easier to keep track of. And so if you think about a 3.5 is a 70, so that's a C and being an instructor, if it's not horrible, I'm going to give it somewhere in that 3.5 range almost automatically. So this is probably a little higher than that. I would probably give this a 3.75 in the range. It's not anything I would say, I've got to have one of these Bavarian IPAs. This is the best thing I've ever had, but it's not a bad uh, beer. And uh, so that 3.75 is where I think I would rate this particular beer. And it's a good beer and it's, done well to kind, I guess, if you'd say that, or to the style of this Bavarian IPA. It seems to be a more unique style and a little bit unique flavoring here. 
really haven't had anything quite like it. Uh, it again, it has that, uh, those reds and like a Marzen kind of uh, malt to it. So combine that with some of the hops. I'm really not getting a lot of the hops flavor uh, in this going into it either though. So that's the uh, reindeer games. Again, pairing that with the uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer from Gene Autry. So close this uh, particular recording out with Till We Drink Again, cheers to the coda.